Well, a late night crash in Cottonwood Heights that trapped a woman in her car last night. Yeah, police say the driver ended up on top of the woman's car, crushing her, and that driver is now behind bars. ABC4's Kayla Baggerly has the latest. Police described this as a major crash, saying that a truck landed on top of that woman's vehicle, crushing it and making it difficult to get her out. Today, following the crash, you'll see a broken fence and glass on the ground. Neighbors say it sounded like a bomb went off. It happened off of southbound I-215 and Highland Drive a little before 9 last night. Police say a white pickup truck was traveling northbound on Highland Drive and coming up to the I-215 overpass. When it crossed into the southbound lane, and hit two vehicles in the off-ramp, one of those being a red sedan. A truck came to rest on top of the red vehicle, trapping the driver inside. That's when crews worked tirelessly to rescue the woman driver inside for around an hour. 60 plus minutes. It was, uh, she was underneath the, uh, her vehicle was underneath the, um, the pickup truck. It made it very difficult to extricate because the car was rested on top of it. They spent 60 minutes cutting small pieces off until they were able to get her out of the vehicle. The driver of the truck had a minor cut on his face and is cooperating with the investigation. He was booked on multiple charges, including negligently operating a vehicle resulting in serious bodily injury and possession of a controlled substance. Those in the other vehicle hit drove themselves to the hospital. We met with Colin Jeffries, who is a part of the Unified Fire Authority's heavy rescue program, which responded to this crash and worked to get the woman out. I was very technical extrication. We had to use all of the disciplines within our extrication program um, as far as using our cutters, our spreaders, our stabilization tools, and we had to have the addition of a heavy wrecker to lift a vehicle off of the occupant's vehicle. He showed us the tools they use to perform these operations. Two sets of extrication tools ready to be deployed at any moment on both sides of the apparatus. We have spreaders, cutters, we have rams where we can push vehicles apart. Primary struts, these are our hydrofusion struts which are capable of lifting vehicles. Jeffrey shares that extrications like these can be challenging, but it's what they're trained to do. That's what we show up to do for those out, look for those, have those opportunities to make a difference in someone's life. Um, that's, that's why we're all here and last night was just another one of those opportunities. This is still under investigation and we'll keep you updated both on air and online at abc4.com. Reporting from Cottonwood Heights, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.